Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at 100 plus CSS hover effects and CSS loaders that you guys can use for your next project. So let's get into it. All right, so this CSS hover effects and CSS loaders were created by your boy Tamani Afif. Shout out to him, right? I'm showing you guys this because I believe that these are some of the best CSS loaders and CSS hover effects that I've seen in a long time. So we're going to start with uh, basically some hover effects. Um, and these are really good for like a button or maybe like a link that you might want to have on your website. So this is like the basic one, right? We can pretty much see this is the one that everybody uses, right? Uh, with just a simple underline, but you can actually have fun with those underlines and make them come from like the left to the right to the center, right? Something like that. And that's like the most basic style that you guys can go for. Um, from there, you also have this continuous one, which is when you hover on top of it. Okay. And it just goes like that, right? Some pretty nice effects. Okay. Uh, let's see the other ones. This is the doubles, right? This is when you have two double lines under it. Hopefully that could be something useful for some of you guys. The double lines, I'm like, eh, I'm a little bit iffy on those. Uh, from there, you have the two steps ones, which is like, hey, two steps, two steps, two steps, two steps, two steps. That one's okay. Um, this ones are actually pretty cool. The unexpected is like, hey, you're in the center, it goes to the left, and then comes in and basically goes full underline. This other one here is pretty cool. Uh, we have this other one. Okay, <laughs> this one's actually pretty nice. It's like you have a line right in the middle, and then it splits, and it's like, hey, it kicks it out of the way. Another one is just basically taking both lines, going to each side, and then coming right back in and making the whole underline. This one is actually pretty cool. It's like coming from like the left. And I believe this one is just pretty much, hey, it just expands and comes back to the same section. Uh, this one, the rounded ones, this is like, a, let's say you have a little circle under it. And then from there, you can see how you can go in and use that. This one's actually pretty cool. I can see that being used. And again, just because you're seeing this being used inside of like a link or like a button, you can actually take some of this styles that you have here and use it for maybe an image or a div. Like you can actually take a lot of ideas from what he already started and use it for other things. It doesn't have to just be for a link itself like this, the CSS right here. Right. And I'm going to give you guys the link to this page so you guys could get access to that. Um, but basically, you can reuse this with a whole bunch of different things like images. So it's not just links. So keep that in mind. OK, this is another one. Hover me, hover me. OK, this one comes from the bottom. This is the infinite. This is like uh, a constant flow that will continue to, you know, basically do that effect as you hover on top of it. You see. Uh, this one's pretty cool too. Let's see what else we got. Hmm, interesting. This one, I like this one. We we'll just go from like left to right. This one's cool too. This one's like going from one side to the other one, right? This is the all sides. And I like this one the most, especially like for buttons and links, which is like you have this border that goes around and just animates all around the whole link itself or all around the whole element. Again, you can use this for images. You can use this just for a div or maybe a span that you might want to go in and actually go and animate. So again, it's not just specific just for like a link. You can use it with pretty much anything. All you have to do is look at the CSS that he has already here and then integrate it with uh, whatever elements you might have on your page. So again, some pretty cool effects here. Let's see. This is the thick ones. <laughs> okay. This one's nice. All right. This one goes in, opens up. Okay. Very nice. Oh, I like that one. Go from the bottom to the top. Okay. This one opens up from like this one's top and bottom going to the middle. And then this one opens up from the middle going to top and bottom. This one left and right. Okay. This is another one. The sliding. Sliding effects. Let's 
Very nice. This is the fancy ones. <laughs> All right. So definitely this, a lot of effects that you guys can use for this. So again, use it, you know, for whatever project you might have. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of cool uh, examples here that you can reuse even for like a slider. Uh, you can reuse some of these things that he already has. It's like a 3D uh, version. And what I like about it is that he made them pretty smooth. So sometimes I see people come in and create some CSS uh, animations and they're just not smooth. They're not like at a 60 frames per second uh, or even higher than that. Like this ones are pretty smooth. Trust me. Maybe on video you can't see it. Uh, but once you get to see it on your computer, you will see how smooth this actually shows up. All right. Um, from there, we're going to go and jump into this other ones that he has, which is like the CSS loaders. This is like something that you want to show maybe when uh, you're loading some data or maybe the page is still loading all of the assets. Um, you know, back in the days, a lot of websites used to do, do things like this, especially in the world of Flash. Right. But now, thank God, we could do a lot of this effects with just CSS. You know, that's the good thing about uh, just the web constantly, you know, evolving and, and getting better and better. As you can see, we have some pretty cool ones here. Uh, this are what the basics, right? The classic ones that you probably have seen before. Like, hey, it's just a fade in, right? This one just showing it like that, right? This one's just going in, changing the colors. Okay, this one just slides in and changes colors. So that could be something cool that you can do. Uh, now, these are the infinite ones. Hopefully that's something that you guys will get into. And what I like about this uh, examples that he has, like I said, there's a lot of cool things that he does with CSS. And, and when you go into the CSS itself, like for example, this one here that looks more complicated than what it is. But once you look into the CSS, you could actually learn like how that works. And again, Yes, you could just copy and paste this, but I recommend for you guys to just go in and look at every single line of code so you can see how he was able to create these animations uh, with CSS like this too, right here, right? So this one is coming in, going from the end and then coming back around and going back to the uh, same spot that it started from, right? And then this one's a little bit more complex, but he, the way he, how he did it is like, yo, shout out to him, man, like, because it's super smooth, right? And it's not that difficult, right? When you look at the code. So for example, this is, okay, let's say this is a uh, dots 10, which is this one, right? This one uh, dots nine, right? So he has basically three keyframes uh, for each one of these. This is for the dot nine, right? And as you can see, this is like maybe less than, I don't know, 30, 40 lines of CSS, which is not even that much to be able to do this, where it's like, hey, it comes in, come back, goes in, flips, and it's like comes back to the original space. So it's actually pretty cool what he's been able to do with just CSS. Again, you have some of the bars. The bars are very simple. Like if you want to have like a nice CSS loader that's low key, it's not too much, right? It's not catching too much of attention. It's just like, hey, it's letting the user know something is loading. Uh, these are really good for it. Okay. And then from there, you have the classic ones, which is our <laughs> the spinners. Okay. So again, if you guys need some of these, there you go. Uh, this is the continuous one. Okay, you will see something like this and, you know, back in the days. And then from there, we have the progress bars. You can also go in and use this and you can even go in and use like JavaScript. A lot of the stuff that you're seeing here, you can go in and use JavaScript. Uh, so, for example, you're doing like a React project and you want to show the actual progress of like how the data is being downloaded. Like there's ways that you could do that um, by um, basically just animating uh, the percentages of like how far this thing needs to go. So, again, it's not just like, hey, it's final. You can use the code, re, you know, retouch it, go in there, changes uh, that you might have to do, but make it your own. Right. Uh, again, shout out to to the homie who, who created this again it's something very useful and a lot of us can learn from his style of uh, building this type of animations so again this is all like squares that you guys can use now this is more like how can i say this, this is more like playful 
me personally, I wouldn't add something like this to my applications. I would like to keep things uh, simple where it's not catching too much attention. It's like a cool animation, but it's not like uh, too playful. Like I still want it to look a little bit more pro professional. All right. So again, you start seeing like this ones, right? This is something that pretty much you guys can use. But again, um, a lot of good resources online, right? And I just wanted to show you guys this because I think that the best way to learn, especially HTML, CSS is by looking at what other people are creating and, you know, projects like this one, which give you access to the code. Like you can see in here exactly how this person uh, built this. You can learn a lot, especially when it comes to CSS, because I know some people, they struggle with CSS, right? For me, HTML, CSS has always been pretty easy but I know people struggle with this. So again, always try to look at the code, look at the source. And that's the good thing about web development that if you look at something on a website and you be like, man, how they did this? 90% of the time, you can pretty much find out exactly how they did it by just looking at the source or just doing, you know, inspect element and you could get the code. All right. But anyways, guys, listen, I'm going to go in and put this on the description below so you guys can definitely check it out yourself and you can copy some of that code and put it into your own projects, you know, tweak it, etc. Um, and of course, you know, give some credit to uh, the creator if you can, um, whenever you can. Shout out to Tamani a fifth, a great project. Thank you for sharing this with all of us. Um, and yeah, man, again, guys, if you want to learn how to code, definitely go check out codingphase.com. This is what we do, right? If you've been wanting to get into the tech industry and you've been struggling, you've been either taking courses with somebody else or you're coming in brand new, trust me, this is what we focus on on codingphase.com. Learning to code has never been easier since codingphase.com was released. We don't teach coding as a hobby. Everything that you're going to be learning on codingphase.com is literally to either get a job in the tech industry or to make money on your own okay so every skill that we teach we teach it in a way where it's like literally we're targeting jobs and opportunities that's out there for you to make money so again content editor html email developer front-end developer back-end developer full stack developer react developer shopify team developer shopify app developer we have a lot of different career paths to help you get into the tech industry so it doesn't matter if this is your first time learning how to code or you're already a year in two years in we will help you get into the game and again, help you start making some money on your own. You get what I'm saying? Like for <laughs> those developers that's watching this, like, Hey, I already know how to code, but can you actually make bread? Right? Can you actually make money with the skills that you have? That's something that we can definitely help you out. Definitely go check it out. Codingphase.com. We have a subscription based uh, service where literally you could be a gold member, 20 bucks, diamond membership, 375 for six months. And this gives you a lot, right? You get everything from all the programming courses that's on codingphase.com, which is 90 plus courses. On top of that, you get accountability meetings, ASAP developer group, community, right? Live events, uh, again, reviews for your portfolios, for your projects, like whatever you need that we can do for you, we're going to get you to the game um, with this diamond membership. Again, uh, we also go in into the idea of making money online. How do you do that as a developer? Those are the things that we teach at Coding Face. So again, if you're interested in that, definitely go check out codingphase.com guys. But anyways, man, I'm gonna see you guys later. See your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Check the description, links below. Definitely 20% off on the links and also to the links to all of this different CSS uh, loaders and effects that you guys can use. I'll see you guys later. See your boy Joe. Peace.